Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it How they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? Today is the day we get to redeem ourselves and we get to take out the LS3 350Z. You guys remember last time I went to Sonoma, this thing ran a 12.3. And we're going to try to see if we can beat our old time in a 350Z. And we're also going to see if we can beat my C6 time that I just put, which was 11.6. And I did that on the 20 inch street tires exactly how you see this thing sitting so it's only fair that i take this thing exactly how you guys see it with street tires and see if we can if we can beat it uh, this car does make more power than the c6 it also makes more torque uh, gearing is shorter so it is a bit harder to drive the c6 i feel like definitely takes off a lot better i feel like the c6 has more grip but i don't know I have no clue what may happen. Um, this thing could, this thing definitely, remember how I was joking with the C6, like, oh, as long as I don't run a 13. Well, the 350Z, this shit right here, it's definitely capable of running a, a, a 13. So I'm not going to bullshit be like, oh, I ain't going to run no 13 today because it, it might happen. Uh, but, you know, we want, we would like to see this thing get into the 11s. That's going to be my goal for today is to get it down there and a beat the 11 8 time. So uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the stuff out of here. I clean this thing out. Also have like the subs and stuff. I'm taking the subs out of here because uh, the radio isn't currently hooked up. So I'll be pulling those out. Uh, I'm going to be putting these subs in Nita car anyway because I'm going to be redoing my whole sound system and stuff in the 350. So yeah. Anywho, uh, let's get this thing cleaned out. And I want to start it up just now. And it's dead. So uh, somebody commented, said order this GB40. Uh, jumper pack from Amazon. I did get that, but I need to figure out why I'm having this parasitic draw. This car has never had an issue with sitting and uh, and dying, and now all of a sudden it's dying super quick. So uh, there's definitely something going on that I need to figure out. But anywho, let's uh, get this thing cleared out. Man, I'm honestly embarrassed even showing you all this wild ghetto ness right here. I got tired of my sub sliding back when I'd be mobbing, so I was just like, you know what? Wah, 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 wah. All right, so I got this thing cleaned out. Uh, I guess I'm gonna jump it with my FD. And other than that, we'll be ready to go. Uh, my boy Jensen just hit me, so uh, Jensen's gonna be out there. It's gonna be dope to see what his Hellcat runs. That way I can size that thing up to see what's the comparison on my uh, my SE. I know my SE trapped uh, on the streets over 140 miles per hour. So uh, if this car traps anywhere around the 140 range, I think it'll definitely be a, a good race for the SE, especially from a roll. So I'm interested in seeing what Jensen's car does. Underestimate that car a lot because it's a Hellcat, but remember Overkill Performance built that car and I think currently they hold the the record for uh, the fastest uh, track, I think Trackhawk right now. So, you know, it's built by a super legit uh, dope ass shop. So don't, don't underestimate that car. You might be surprised. And I don't think Jensen has that much drag experience. So uh, I know that car is probably nine second capable, but it should be able to still run a 10 with him driving, but it should definitely, it should definitely be a 10 second capable car pretty, pretty easy. Alright, so just getting here to my boy White Aaron's. Uh, added an extra quart to this thing. He's checking the clutch pedal right now, making a little adjustment, just making sure everything's cool. And he's doing the same thing over here for his LS3 350. So yeah, we just about ready to head out to the track right now. What you thinking, bro? What you thinking? I think I'm 
I'm gonna be slow today and probably look like I don't know what I'm doing. Hey man, first time at the drag strip. I know, I'm kind of excited though. And we're doing it in our cars. I'm kind of okay with that. to get tech now you can already see the lines hella long yup just waiting to get teched you said what I can't, oh, you, what I can't even talk i can't even talk dude look how sweaty i am no man all right there it is boys there it is we're all teched in and ready to go uh, one thing I know for sure is going to be happening is this car is going to be a pain. Like, it is hard to drive this car. Uh, light flywheel, super grabby, unsprung uh, race clutch. Like, it is super hard to, to get this thing to even leave first. So, I know this is going to be a problem all day with fighting to get a good 60 foot or getting a good launch. So, we'll see how this thing does. And um, this transmission is like all poo-poo all now. It's like... The shifter feels kind of uh, low on the sloppy side, so uh, going into fifth gear kind of grinds fifth now. So I'm not going to be banging gears like how I was in the C6. So it's definitely going to be a challenge today, but you know, overall we're here to have fun. It is a little hotter today also than it was uh, last week. So if anything, more than likely, if we do get a good time, more than likely at the end of the day or towards the night is when we're probably going to run our, our best time just because of the air intake temps. I think right now it's probably about uh, probably like 90 or so so it is a little on the hot side but you know we're here cars teched so yeah let's get ready to have some fun ready you ready thirteens, baby you ready for your 13s you know i'm saying me i'm not saying <laughs> struggling with the tree <laughs> come on Aaron six yo come on 13 six at 117 miles per hour look at this my 60 foot 28 60 foot oh my god oh today is gonna suck man today is gonna be one of those days this car ain't gonna hook up without a radio like the vet i tried it got it to work but i can already tell that this car has too much torque down low 
and it's so much more responsive and snappier than the uh, C6 that this is gonna be like a, a nightmare all day today for us. I know it. All right, here we go, run number two. I can't believe how much of a grip difference it is between this car and the C uh and the C6. So since my last run, also what I did was I went back there and adjusted the shocks. I actually uh. I put this thing on full soft to hopefully give us some squat. Aaron, keep going past the tree. <laughs> Come on, Aaron. Aaron, come on, yo. Ah, oh, Aaron killing us. <laughs> he can't tree. Aaron. This time slip is gonna be like another 13. This sucks, man. First and second are just like spinning like crazy. Hella bad. Yeah, hella bad. I'm like feathering it, not even like 50% throttle. I'm still yeah. spinning. It seemed like you were down here in water going out there. Dude, it's it's so slippery for yeah. me. Alright man, so we just did uh two runs down here. I'm fighting for grip like crazy. Like there's no traction to be had at all. I tried 50% throttle and it was still like wheel hopping. Uh adjusted it to where coilovers are on full soft to get some squat out of it still nothing like yeah, this car like needs a radio bad like it like i said it makes more power and torque than the c6 and uh with the shorter gears it just it's garbage at putting this power down on the on the drag strip like this car feels so much better and faster on the street and out here is just like nah i'm like not even i'm not i got i can't even get going to like fucking like eighth eighth mile i'm like halfway down like I can only imagine you too, because I don't even have the power you do, and I'm fighting it. Like, I have to back off, and then it'll- No, you beat me that last run. That's not safe, though. Oh, the supercharger? Really not safe, like that. What's cracking? I don't cool, what's, what's good? Oh. Man, what's up, man? Let me drive this, man. Let's trade cars. Yeah. Like a swingers. Oh, no, it's an LS7. I don't want to be responsible for no, this. No. <laughs> it's on meth, at least. So, T-Trim? T-Trim? Yeah. Yep, same, same exact one I got coming from my C6. Uh, what did it make? 812. 812? Like, low-ass boost, what? 6, 8 pounds? pounds? Yeah. Pounds. <laughs> Hold on. You know I got to come check out this thing. Fuck no, don't let off nothing. Just keep going. Nah, this shit's overheated. A little, a little hot. This thing is clean as Thank you, bro. Excuses, excuses. Looks good. Look at that. Can I borrow these tires when you're done? I just need to borrow them one run. This is what I want to see. I want to see this C7 Z06 versus this Turbo FD. More than likely, they're going to, if, if I pair up with Aaron, they get paired up anyway, so. All right, so here we go, run number three. And this time around, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to leave in second instead of leaving in first. I'm going to try to leave, see if I can leave in second and see if I can get some slip out of this clutch. Oh, that C6 is out of there, dude. 
that thing got a nasty launch. Damn, he ran a 10-9, yo. Damn, he ran a 10-9. First pass in that thing. Taking off in second is definitely better though. Just couldn't get in third gear. There's no reason why Aaron's car should beat us in the quarter. Like no reason at all. Thank you. Look at that, 13.6 at 1.14. Like f out of here, bruh. The f Alright, so uh, leaving in second gear was definitely a lot better, but I like hella missed third gear. Went to go into third, got got locked out. I'm like, are you serious? 114 trap? That is garbage, dude. Mine was 113. This car should this car should be trapping in the 120s. Like, there's no way this car should be trapping this low. That's just annoying my soul. Unless this clutch is still slipping. Yeah, I wonder if we can go back on the footage and look at the RPMs and see if we can watch it slip. Yeah. Hey, 13.6. I mean, I'm staying consistent with that right now. Fucking 13.6. I've ran, great. I've ran a low 12 in this yeah. car already yeah. with less power. So yeah. now it's like, I'm more so getting frustrated and mad now. I, I left in second just like you did. And it's I way still, better. It is better, it's better. But I still spun and then I heard like a clock and it worried me. And I like, you can probably see the video too. It's like stalled out and I was like, fucking what? <laughs> and <come> <laughs> Ah, this sucks, man. Hey, look who it is. Look at who we have here. Get out the car. Get out the car. What's up? Nine or what? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me a nine. We're doing nines, man. Jensen's been arguing with me, saying he's gonna run a. He said he's gonna run a nine. I told him without the experience, he is not running a nine. We're about to see if he can prove me wrong right here. Keep telling people you can have all the power you want. It ain't that easy to run a nine. But I hope by the end of the night this man gets the nine that he's looking for. That would be fing sick and it'll be hella good uh, uh promo for overkill. Not bad. 10-6. Ten, six. Ten, six. Good shit. Not bad for the Let's first see. one. She's like, you need to go to the tower now. That's good. What was the a trap? Uh, I'm not sure. One. Almost 140. Almost 140. Ooh, you'll be a good run for the SE. I trapped a little higher than you, but yeah. we'll be close. Okay. I got a little... Well, my old trap speed. You're close to my, uh, pretty close to my old trap speed. I left in second too, and I was in manual mode. So if I put it in auto and leave it first, see it, see what happens. I didn't really spin at all either. Nah, it left good. That, shit that was up. like perfect. Yeah. 
it, it did exactly what you wanted. That was surprising. I was like, huh, easy 12 or 10. Okay, how you doing? Yeah, you cannot be going 139 miles an hour. You're not licensed, the car's not certified. Okay. And you don't have any sort of gear on for that. Okay. So you gotta run slower? A lot slower. Within street is 12 or 11.50 and slower, so you have to run below 135. Below 135? Yeah, so Just hit the warning. Hit the what you do is work on your work on work on your launch and shit, work on your 60 and all that and then at the end of the night when you feel like like yo this is the one that's left good Go then just stay it. in it and get the slip and then be like whatever because once you get that run they're gonna kick you out yeah. but right now just just f your 60. once you feel like at the end of the night when it cooled down you're probably gonna run faster when you get when they uh when the air temps and shit go down so sure, it's almost 90 degrees right now yeah it's hot once that shit gets to like in the 70s, bro, it's gonna start cooking up. It's gonna start cooking, so just work on your 60. Most dev. But you, you in the 10s, bro? What'd you run? 13, 13.6. <laughs> you couldn't get traction either, huh? Nah. nah. I'm, on, I'm on a street tire. You and Eric ran like the same time. 13, both ran 13.6. Damn. Which sucks, because he got a stock LS3 versus my built LS3. <laughs> I mean, I missed, I missed third gear too. Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Well, we'll see. For sure. Let's Hell get some yeah. fun in, man. For sure. Don't run too fast. Don't try nothing. <laughs> that is dope. First pass on the car since Overkill did it. 10-6. That is a fast car. Run number four. We'll see how this goes. So far, it's been a struggle fest for us all night. What's good, man? Hey, I'm not over there to give you your left lane. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, you, you know, I'm left lane all day. I had to start following you. I was like, holy shit, he has some followers actually. <laughs> <laughs> this thing in second. So on that last run, I know exactly where I messed up at though. I should have slipped it a little longer and then got in the power. Once I started moving, I kind of just like let off too fast and then it started spinning on me and we kind of balled. So I'm gonna slip it, uh, I'm gonna slip it harder, but I'm gonna try to drag it out a little longer. Kind of just do it a little bit more aggressive. I mean, we're getting faster. 13, 13, three. <laughs> Aaron ran a 13 0, so he's closer to a 12, but Ah. This car should be trapping higher than this, man. It should definitely be trapping higher. Bam! Dude. 13-0? I know. I even said it in the vlog, too. I was like, that one definitely felt faster. Like, yeah. That, I felt like we both left good, and I, like, bogged out hella bad. Yeah, your mile an hour is way faster, though. Five miles an hour faster. Like, if we had a little bit more track, you'd have blown right past me. This car should have a higher trap speed than that. Like I said, we gotta go back through the footage. We need to check and see like what the what the RPM what the RPM is looking like. Yeah. I don't know. It should it should definitely be in the 120s. Yeah. C6 was 124. Like granted the launch is shit, but yeah. horsepower doesn't lie. No. Yeah. That's true. So yeah, yeah. even if we get a shitty launch, it should still trap higher. Yeah. The whole time we had I had bad launches in the C5, I was still trapping. High speed. Yeah, I was still trapping in the 120s. 120. I was like consistent 123, 124. So for this to be like one's like one one seventeen one sixteen yeah, one eleven so yeah. I don't know well I'll look at the footage uh, beforehand but I still need to get a good launch now I think I kind of figured out a, a little something well you knew coming into it too that this car's way harder to pedal yeah than the other car, so I, I said that in the vlog earlier I was yeah. like dude this car's gonna be hard to drive so oh, yeah. this is like run number five. Hopefully we don't run another 13, but today at this point just sucks, man. You're fun, don't ever change. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh no, for sure. Never change. <laughs> Ever, never. <laughs> So that last pass was uh, 13.0 at 115 miles per hour. Uh, you can tell I'm, I'm getting frustrated because this car should be, it, it should be faster. It should be faster than this. Mister? Yeah. My hand was sweaty and I slipped off my shifter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's trash. 13.8, what are you going to do? I think we're probably going to do one more pass. Uh, then we about to, we're gonna call it a night. I mean, we still can get more runtime in, but I'm just like, eh, I'm kind of over it. So I'll do one more pass, and then uh, me and Aaron are gonna shake. You about to run that 12 or what? Man, I hope I get. I hope I have a 12 before the last level. That's all. I, want. <laughs> I don't care if it's like a 12 nine nine. Just stay out of the 13. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see all right, here we go. This is going to be the last run of the night right here. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. Tonight or today hasn't been a very great day. So if I beat Aaron right here, this means we're tied three for three. I won two races, he's won three races. This would be like, all right, if I win this, we tie it up. We didn't get 112 all day. That's wild. There's definitely something wrong. And I ain't trying to make an excuse for it, but you know, the trap speeds show for sure. Thirteen one at 116 miles an hour. 